If you're looking for someone to blame for ongoing power cuts, try pointing the finger at the government. Prime Minister Perry Christie yesterday admitted during his appearance on KISS FM's Ed Fields talk show that an additional 40 megawatt generators were ordered late. Every day of my life, I recognize that I provide stability. My leadership provides stability to my side. You see what instability means when you look at the opposition. And I dare say that this could happen when I demit office as well. And so the, the country has moved from Pendling to Ingram to Vision and the FNM from Christie is holding right now no division in the PLP. Um, and so the question for us is moving forward. One of the great advantages the PLP has an office of this country is a very stable government, one with the capacity to guarantee continuity and governance, and one that has been meaningfully employed in major reforms in this country, the last and latest one of which is the University of the Bahamas. Now, it looks as though it's going to take tens of millions of dollars from the public purse to correct the problem once and for all. That's based on former BEC Chairman Leslie Miller's estimation. In fact, according to the Tall Pines MP, had the government moved ahead with its original plan to install 128 megawatts of power, the country would not be grappling with frequent power cuts. If the Medley were putting in the 128 megawatts of power, we're trying to put it, it's going to cost us some hundred and... $48 million, including the overhead lines that transmit from, from, from Clifton back into New Providence, right? We were getting 85% of the funding from the Danish Import-Export Bank. Okay, so we needed about $50 million to do what we needed to do. That's what we needed to come up with, about $50 million. Bahamas Power and Light CEO Pam Hill just last week told the press that a lack of proper maintenance along with extreme heat has pressured aging generators to work harder and will continue to cause frequent power outages throughout New Providence. The plan is to bring in additional rental generators. For JCN News, I'm Dominique Butler.